Oh, what's going on, Rizzy here? Welcome back to 64. As you can see, we left the game in a pretty uh, crazy state here. So, uh, yeah, getting some things done, doing some stuff. Uh, I think what we need to do here, I'm trying to remember what we were going after because it's been a little bit. Um, we were working on the, um, I think we need to get, so oh, wait, hold on. Irradiate celestial foam with a chromolite converting the foam into chromolites, which is a great source of, okay. So do we need, what do we need in order to get these going? Um, 65,000 of those, 261 of the, the other stuff. Okay, underground silo, industrial silo, containment vessel. I guess what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get some more of the, um, of this stuff going. And then let's see, what else do we have going here? Excavation channel, we have that destabilizer, industrial destabilizer, hell gem, active cooler release thing, okay. Here we go. Already a celestial foam. Oh no, darn it. Okay. Uh, which grants a source of hell, converting the foam into chromolites. Now, do I need, do these need to be next to something? Hold on. I'm going to place it right here and see if that does anything. Oh, okay. So now it's doing something. What is it exactly? Irradiates celestial foam. Okay. So this must be celestial foam converting the foam into chromolites. Okay. Chromolites which are a great source of hell gems, beta pylene, quantinine, emeralds due to chroma, chromolite decay. Okay, so we're getting that. Oh my gosh, celestial reactor supports controllable f uh, fusion of chromolites and celestial foam to produce beta pylene, which can't operate in close proximity to other celestial reactors. We got some crazy things going on here. General decay reactor. We have a waypoint. Hey, we just got another thing. Uh, okay, chromolite oscillator. We just got another um, another cube deal. Where is it? We got another one of these, a hollow stone. My guess is it's gonna be up here. And it's probably because of the research station. This is a long ways up here. There it is. Okay, oh, we have two. All right, so we got one there and we got one there. Okay, so we have hollow stones now as well. Hell vault insulates 1,024 hell gems from environment. That requires four of the hollow stone, 131,000 of the golds, 131,000 of the purples, 1.04 million red ones. Oh my gosh, and 131,000. Wow, we got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, okay, it sounds like our reactor stopped here. Okay, let's get these bad boys going again. Oh my gosh, this is wild. I, I still like, I almost don't even know what we're doing here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was following along pretty good until we got to these things. I feel like once we got to these things, things started to get a little interesting. Um, okay, actually, you know what? I probably need another one of those. Now that I think about it. Um, but I'm not even close to that. What the heck is going on there? Uh, we just got another hollow cube. So let's go up here and get a hollow cube, shall we? We're not gonna have enough yet. Is this decaying slowly? It almost, it almost looks like it is. Okay, so we have enough hollow cubes, but we don't have enough everything else. Let's get these going. So I'm not actually sure that this thing's even working, to be honest. Uh, I think we need to move it. We're gonna disassemble that. Uh, can I build another one of those? I almost feel like it has to be within the area right here. I'm going to try it right there. Now, is it going to, does it do anything? So I can't really tell if it's doing anything or not. What the heck is going on over here? I don't think it is. I don't think it's doing anything right there. All right, we're going to disassemble it again. <laughs> uh, we could get a catalytic refinery going. That might not be a terrible thing to get going right there. And then uh, forget the other thing right now. I need more car. Oh, well, yeah, we need so much more stuff. What the heck are these random little things? I love it. These random little squigglies that come out of the ground. Uh, okay, we just got another, we got another hollow cube. Okay, so there's a couple of other things that I'm looking through here. I'm just kind of trying to figure out what is going on right now. <laughs> what is our next step? Where do I need to get going from here? Um, but I was reading this annihilator produces void when hell gems annihilate with celestial foam requires a hollow stone to operate. Requires 32 hollow, um, hollow stones though. Um, teleports the next existing waypoint to you. So it looks like waypoints, um, you know, getting back and forth from point A to point B. That's cool. 
general decay reactor dramatically improves chromolite decay performance there can only be one so that's just like a single one-off tower uh, but we have industrial silo which does 64 automatic uh, refreshes which is super cool and then let's see what else we have underground let's get, actually get this underground silo going this is gonna go up here so that way we can get um <laughs> these things going because I want these towers right here to be, I need I need so much more of this um, car night char night or whatever so that's doing its thing uh, let's go ahead and pop up here we should have two more hollow stones I think yeah easy enough we'll grab those two so we have six I wonder what causes the hollow stones to appear and I also like I'm curious what void is I don't know what void is yet and uh, like I have an you know industrial silo obviously we know what that is There's material streamer tower mark two um Actually, I don't have that yet, which is surprising. Celestial Reactor supports controllable fusion of chromolites and celestial foam to produce a beta piling. Can't operate in close proximity to other celestial reactors, so that's interesting. Catalytic Preheater increases the speed of any resource conversion machine if, if placed next to one. Each converter increases the preheater's speed boost up to 300% if eight machines are affected. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> It's actually quite neat. Uh, we have like absolutely no chromolite coming in right now whatsoever, <laughs> which is interesting to say the least. <laughs> but I think I think one of the next things I want is I want to see what this annihilator. Is. Oh my gosh, 8.3 million carni. Okay, I'm not doing I'm not doing things right then. Okay, you know what? I'm actually not 100 percent sure that this wasn't doing anything. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this back in here because it's oh darn it. Because it says it converts stuff and just because I can't see it going to it doesn't mean that's not actually doing anything Because what it's supposed to be doing is supposed to be converting Now is it doing anything? See it's going so much faster now Where it makes me think that it's actually doing something here. What is it doing? <laughs> it says it irradiates celestial foam with chromolite converting the foam into chromolite Which is a great source so is it changing blocks in these to chromolites instead of foam? That's kind of what I feel like it's doing, but I'm not 100% sure. So you know what? I think maybe we'll actually go ahead and we're going to, I think we're going to copy some of this stuff over to this area here. Let's see. Um, if I want to be doing what we're doing here, do I need the hell gems? on these guys hmm i honestly don't know that i could really copy this anyways i'm actually thinking about throwing a silo in though a silo might be nice and it's only 70 70 000 and 138 which isn't terrible it's an underground silo oh we have to yeah it's constant because we have a constant issue with that uh let's see i'm gonna put that there We'll fill that bad boy up. Let's go and get these two going. And then I'm going to try to get another in, in, uh, underground silo. I'm not going to do industrial silos over here because I think these are going to be L. Look at that. We got another one. But I want to fill these in here. So these will keep going as needed. And then maybe get some other stuff. Oh, what is happening? Got a new stone. Feel what? What happened? What in the heck was that? That was weird no idea what's going on there okay <laughs> fun fun let's keep these going so i think the next thing that we actually kind of need to go after is maybe the celestial reactor sports controllable fusion of chromolites and celestial foam to produce beta piling which is this stuff uh, can't operate in close proximity to other ones because it produces more more of this red stuff and the red stuff is what I need I need a million in order to get this hell vault but I need more um, we need more of these containment vessels so I guess that's the best way to get I guess this is like the really the only thing we can do we're also not getting chromolites like at all now Oh, holy moly, we just got a whole ton of them. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. This celestial reactor, it's this. It's the same as these. It turns 8,192 foam into, oh my God, I'm a dummy. 
No, what? I I see exactly. I know exactly what it is now. Okay, cool. Well, look at that. Let's get this back in here. And then let's get... <laughs> I, I was like, what does this do? What does it do? It's exact. It's the same thing as this. It's the exact same thing. All right, we got to wait till I have enough to, <laughs> to make one here. Uh, we're waiting on the hell gems. Oh my gosh, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I was like, what does it do? I don't know what it does. Yeah, I know what it does. It takes 8,000 of these. It turns it into these. So basically, I need to get a bunch of these built as well. So if I can, like, that's that's ideal. So what are we waiting on? We're waiting on hell chips. I need to build a bunch of these things. That is how we're going to get more of these. So it looks like what we have, it looks like our like infinite resources, right? It looks like our beta piling is an infinite resource. And it appears as though Celestial Foam might be one of those as well. That we don't have to do a lot of con uh, a lot of conversion for that anymore. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I was sitting here like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Well, guess what? I know what it does now. It's the same thing as all these. It's just a converter. All right, we're going to go ahead and start uh, setting this one up down here for some stuff as well. So let's go ahead and let's get rid of the pump. Let's get rid of these guys. And what I want to do in here is if I have the ability, I want to throw some hell gem deals in there. Uh, do I have... I need hell gem de hell gem injectors. Okay, so I need those in each corner. What do I need now? Another one over here, and I need one more to go right here. All right, so that'll work there. And then destabilizers we're placing around the outside, like on top of these. Okay, so that's relatively simple. And then I need to go ahead and get um some. Let's see, where is the Entropy resonator. So we need one there, one there, one there, and one there. At least those ones, because those are the big ones. And then we need to get those two ent ent uh, entropy resonator twos, because those are those are like the those are the those are our breadwinners right there, the money makers. All right, so there's that. These two are doing their thing. It's it's not very fast, but that's fine. Then do an entropy resonator. Actually, you know what? Let's do. We've already got that one. We got that one. That one. That one. Let's do some more hell gem destabilizers. Oh! Oh, now things are speeding up. Oh, that's weird. Oh, this is so weird. We're messing. We're messing with time. <laughs> so our second factory is slowly getting up to speed here. It's uh, it's taking a little while just because, just because everything's getting more expensive. Uh, hey, we got another hall cube. Um, as you can see, we got basically. Let's see. We've got our destabilizers on here. So like this side right here is working pretty good. We got to kind of work on finishing this side up here. Um, also, I need to get, I really need to get the, um, <gasps> oh, they have, uh, there's numbers on them now. Like how we were, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's actually really nice that it shows that. Um, but anyways, I really need to get the uh, the Carnite going more. Um, we're getting a beta piling a lot, but I think this guy right here is actually probably going to be our, our, um, our new source, if you will. So I think what we need to do is we need to get a bunch of these going because these convert the celestial foam into chromolites and chromolites then explode. See how like they're exploding right now? Those turn into other things. So basically what I need to do is I need to have these constantly going. So we constantly have chromolites being uh, turned into like other stuff. And then as long as those are being turned into other stuff, then we can turn that stuff into other stuff as well, <laughs> as well. So um, if that kind of makes sense, but we need to get, I need to, I think I'm falling behind on the conversion of things, if you will. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. Um, I do want to finish getting this second factory, basically a copy of this one down here. Um, and we're, I mean, we're pretty close, but like I said, we're, we're running, we need, I need this. I need this more than anything. Okay, so things are starting to get spicy down here at <laughs> this second mine area. Uh, you can see we're starting to get a lot of hell gems here. So are we able to get any more hell gem destabilizers going? Because that's kind of what I need down here right now. Uh, let's see, where are those at? Hell gem destabilizers. Let's go ahead and get one in there. That did not go in there. Oh, it's because it's... There it is. Okay. And then do I have the stuff for a silo? Underground silo. Okay, I need one right here. Oh, I literally need one right there. Okay, boom. Silos in there. Perfect. So we got our silos in this place. Uh, we've got a... Well, we don't have our hell gem destabilizer. I thought we put a hell gem destabilizer right there. That is not a hell gem destabilizer, though. <laughs> Most definitely not. 
Okay, there's a hell gem destabilizer. So there's that. So we've got one. Uh, we've got one de uh, destabilizer on each side here, which is good. But I need to get one here, uh, one right there, and then one right here, and then then I'll have them basically all in the same spots as we have up here. And then what we got to do is we got to get some um, uh, more upgrades and stuff like that going on. But right now we are we're actually cooking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and get these going again. I took off the automation on this just because I wasn't having enough of the uh, the beta pilot coming in to actually like facilitate that being fully automated. So I think with the second mine thing going, um, I think we might actually be able to go ahead and get a silo on this guy and get this guy constantly running because we definitely need <laughs> definitely need these. So I'm going to wait till we have uh, 93. Once one of these guys pops, we should be good. We can get this in here, put that in there. That should make that. And then I guess we need more of these too. It's getting wild. Like all of the different machines that we need. I'm trying to like kind of get a grasp on everything. All right, there's our underground silo. That's going to go into there. We're going to go ahead and start that. So that way that can automatically go ahead and fill those. Perfect. These ones are being automated as well. Very nice. This guy just finished. So it's doing its thing right there. Okay. All right. And then our entropy, entropy resonator too. We actually have the stuff to go ahead and put those on here to, well, to start. So let's go ahead and put that one in there. That is our first one of those. We need to put one here, here, here. We need three more of those. Um, let's see, entropy resonator two. We need. See, we're still. It's it's the it's the it's the black material that we're needing the most of. So that's why I'm trying to get these all figured out. I'm trying to make sure that we're getting enough of this material that we need. Maybe I need two of these. I don't. I don't actually know. You know what? We're gonna try this. Um, I think I think we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I need I need more of this stuff. So let's go ahead. <laughs> What happens if we do, how many of these can we do? Can I get all those in there? Oh my gosh, I can. Okay, so we've got those. Um, I need another silo to go in the middle, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and start these. And then, okay, there's an underground silo right there. Put that in there. We're gonna go ahead and get that started. And then let's go ahead and you know what? Let's increase the amount of the other stuff too. Let's just see what happens here. So if I get another silo, Place that there. Uh, we're going to need 124,000. That's fine. We'll go ahead and wait on that. And then let's see the next one. Let's go ahead and do these. Just drop these bad boys in here. Oh, that's apparently all I can do right now. Oh, yeah, it's because we're out of the uh, we're, out of, we're out of the black material. So, yeah, we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and double these little farms up here. And we're just going to see what happens with them. Okay, so there's those. Those sumps are all up. We just filled that. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Do we have enough for another silo? No, not, not even close. Do we have enough for these? Well, we have enough for a few. Two. Two of them. All right. So the reason I'm thinking we need to get these going is because this material, the celestial foam, we're, get, we're getting that more than anything else right now. So I think we need to, uh, you know what we maybe, maybe we should do. Maybe I should reset my drills. Maybe we should reset our drills and go back through the uh, the red phase because we're still not even really use, utilizing these resources right now. We're still kind of picking up the uh, the beginning game stuff, trying to expand that stuff. Maybe I should reset. I mean, this, this is going to be a bummer, though, because this is a 22. This is a 22,000 meters. Oh, I don't think I want to do that one, but we could reset this one and that would give us more um, more of the early game stuff because we're kind of expanding the early game stuff so we're not really because i think in order to fully utilize the celestial foam we need a bunch of these and in order to get a bunch of those i need a lot of i need a lot of this material i mean we're working on it but yeah, i don't know oh my gosh i got a whole bunch of these hollow stones up here so many of those guys okay so let's see what am i able to use those for so we can use those for a hell vault which is only four um, it only requires four of them, which is probably, it's probably honestly what we're supposed to do next. Um, but it requires 1.4 million of the beta piling, which I don't really have that. Um, and then let's see what other things require those. So there's a waypoint. Oh, there's also an annihilator. You know, it's funny as I have this stuff for the annihilator before I have like all the other stuff. Um, I can't, <laughs> I feel like that's probably not right. All right. I think the next thing we need is the hell vault. Insulates 1,024 hell gems from the environment uh, because right now I think we can only go up to 640 before they before they all pop. Um, so being able to go to a thousand would probably be beneficial for us. And then what do I need for more of these celestial foam deals? Because I, I honestly I think those are I think that's going to be I think that's what we're lacking right now. It's these. 
So 192, 30, 184, 90. See, we have plenty of this other stuff. It's just this. It's just the um, getting this stuff going is what we need. And in order to get more of that, I need more beta piling. You know, I think I think we need to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this up. We're we're gonna replace it. We're gonna do that. And then we're going to go ahead and get a extracting channel. And then an excavating channel right there. That's going to restart us at zero. That's going to give us, um, that'll give us some stuff for a little bit. Yeah, see, look at that. There we go. There we go. We got a little bit of an increase in numbers there. And then we'll start getting some more yellow. We'll start getting some more red again. That'll, that'll help a lot. Wow, we already went through the black phase. And now we're into the, the red phase. How is that going so, does that move at a different... Excavate a lot of resources fast and places them further around itself. It's crazy because it's like going that fast. It's like, are we mining those blocks that quick? I guess maybe we are. That's insane. <laughs> that's that's crazy. All right, 392 for the Celestial Radiator. I think we're gonna hit this one next. Um, as soon as these all go off, we should be good. We can get another one of those, maybe. Oh, we're at 386. Come on, <laughs> come on. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just gotta get back up to 192 on the, the green. And we're good. Awesome. Okay. So that's gonna help. That's gonna give us more chrome lines, which is then gonna turn more beta piling and more stuff like that. So that is going to that's gonna convert this celestial foam that we have a metric ton of right now. So I completely forgot that these towers right here actually require an input. I had no idea. Um, and I think those are consumes adjacent broken resources after accumulating 1,224 resources. It releases everything with additional bonus. The amount of the bonus is increased with each consecutive release, reaching up to 100% if no resource is consumed within 16 seconds. The effect resets. So um, I completely forgot about those towers. Yeah, didn't realize they require a charge. So uh, I probably, it would probably be beneficial to get those towers on here as well. <laughs> oh, everything. We just got to do everything, you know? Okay, so now that we also have two of these, actually, I think there was something else that we could build here. Um, because we get, we pop these at the same time, we get almost, we get like 4,000 of those. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Oh, it's the Celestial Reactor. So, supports controllable fusion of chromolites and celestial phone produced beta piling. Can't operate close to proximity with other celestial reactors. So, I'm actually thinking that this might be a good thing to go as well. The only problem is we need a million of those. Uh, we need a million of the uh, the black cubes and 500,000 red cubes. Everything else is pretty easy. Um, the 496 of the of the um, the chromolites, that's easy enough because as soon as these both pop off at the same time, uh, we get that. So I think we're gonna try. You know what? We're gonna try to get to this. We're gonna try to get to the 1.4 million on the um, on the the chromonite here, and then the five and a half thousand, five hundred thousand on the <laughs> on the reds. Oh goodness. Okay, so we've got our one million. <laughs> over. We got our one million uh, chironite blocks here. So we just need to get our beta piling now. Let's go ahead and get those popped up. Uh, and then let's see, we're going after the celestial reactor. That is going to be the goal. Supports control diffusion of criminalized the celestial foam to produce a beta piling. Can't operate in close proximity to other celestial reactors. So we're gonna go ahead and put one. We'll probably put one like over here, I guess. Or I don't I don't even know. See, we'll see what the deal is. Okay, so we're well over our 1 million that we need here. Um, the 256,000 on the Hell Gems, that'll come easy once these uh, once these start popping off. Uh, we've got the Celestial Foam. We've got everything we need except for the 500,000 Beta Piling, which hopefully we'll get going here soon enough. And actually, while I was waiting for this, we went ahead and built two more of these guys because um, these are only taking the... Um, the the chromolite or the 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 chronite this is taking that so uh, we had enough of that and we got two more of those going so that's gonna help us a little bit get this um the celestial foam processed down a little bit because like we have so much of it and we need so much of everything else so uh 500 on the beta piling and then we'll get a celestial reactor and what that hopefully is going to do for us is going to controllable fusion between chromolites and celestial foam to produce beta piling so can this plus this is going to equal beta piling hopefully and then the more beta because beta piling is like is is our number one resource that it seems like we need right now so yeah we're getting close we're at almost five hundred thousand. come on i want the celestial reactor so bad <laughs> we just need it so bad 
Uh, I think, I don't know. I'm hoping that this is the answer. I'm hoping this is going to help us get more beta piling more than anything. But I, you know what? I don't know. We could get it going. It, it makes like a minimal difference. But all right, 500 and oh, you know what? Are we going to have, oh, we're going to probably, we're going to probably be waiting on these to, to, to go again because we just crossed. Oh, yep. We're going to be waiting. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. We got it. All right. What does this do now? It needs, okay, so it needs 4,096, and, oh, okay, all right, so what we're going to do with this, um, wow, it's easier for me to build an industrial silo right now than a regular one. I'm going to build a regular silo next to this, that way it'll automatically go every time we have 4,096, um, chromolites. So when these pop, this will automatically, like, toggle it, and it'll, it'll consume these, hopefully, oh, darn it, come on. All right, we're gonna pop that right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that. So it should fill it as soon as these go off. And then well, I don't know whatever happens here. I'm gonna guess this is, I don't even know. Because you can't have other ones light next to it. I guess maybe having these around here, maybe might be the, the way to go. I don't know. That actually, that actually might be true. Maybe having these over here will be the way to go. Okay, so now that's going to go into there. That's doing its thing. And what is its thing exactly? I don't know. I guess we'll wait. And hopefully it converts like a metric ton of, of beta piling. Like that's what I'm hoping for. Oh my gosh. What is this? Celestial reflector improves an adjacent celestial reactor's performance. Oh. Alrighty then. Oh, they're like, they're almost like mirrors. So there's an upgrade to that as well. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, we also probably really need to get this material streamer tower going uh, because it's the Mark II and like we've had this stuff going forever and it probably would make our screen a little bit clearer and easier to see. So we might go ahead and try to grab that once, um, once we're good. And then. Well, actually, hold on. What is, what is, I want to see how much we're going to get from this. Okay. It's about to go. Let's see what we're going to get out of this. And actually, you know what? I need to get this going too. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe we need to put these over here. Okay. How many are we going to get? We're at like 64,000, 130, about 130,000 from that. That's not, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. And then this will improve the celestial reactors performance. So if we put these around it, it will, uh, it'll do better. Okay. That's interesting. So I need these to pop off and then those will fill this and then this will create more beta piling. So these create this <laughs> and then this goes into here. <laughs> interesting. Okay. All right. I mean, it is what it is. Um, not bad. Oh, material stream retire. Let's get this material stream retire mark two going. We definitely need this. Uh, perfect. There it is. We've done it. My gosh. Look how much faster everything is now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that is going to end this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like subscribe, all of our things, uh, we have got some factory stuff going. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Where are you at? Where are you at in the game? And leave any tips. If you're further than me now, cause there's a chance are there's a lot of people further than me in this game. If I am missing something crucial, leave a comment. Let me know. Um, I feel like we're, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, but like this is uh it just seems like things are kind of a uh, interesting little comp, a little bit more complicated than my, than my average like factory game. I think, yeah, I think it's a naming scheme. I think it's like the fact that it's like carodite, emerald, instead of like copper iron, you know what I mean? Instead of like standard stuff and like standard like names, it's like everything has like a super weird, like, like a weird name. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is 64. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like subscribe all things, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye everybody.